best live band. I keep telling people the best live band in the country at the moment. The best small small band. It's not like Iron Maiden or anything, but um, the Physics House Band are incredible. Like instrumental, three piece, like proper, like virtuoso craziness. Um, would definitely recommend checking them out. Right. Yeah, we've been very helpful with our video. Don't worry about it, we'll be fine. If you're looking for the one band that you're going to be able to say to people in the future, I saw that band before they were massive, I'm guessing it's going to be the Family Rain. They're about to explode, I think. Coming. Everyone in the entire world should watch the Physics House Band. Hello. Hi. What band are you looking for? Um, the band I'm most looking forward to is probably Narvals. They're going to be playing in a cave on uh, Saturday, I think, in the afternoon. Uh, my, one of my favourites is in Soul Watch from afar. Um, they always put on a great show and they played the cave the first year it was on, so certainly recommend that. I, I like a little band called Bovine, who were playing earlier on in the cave. Um, Bats, um, Irish band, amazing. Um, Stealing Sheep, if you want something a little bit less heavy, that's, um, I think it's three girls. Um, beautiful harmonies, um, just really good, good fun to watch. The, the band I've been, uh, I've been trying to get James to book for a, a couple of years, um, and we've struggled. But is Adabisi Shank, um, and they're the headliners on the Cave on Friday. Now, a lot of people will be watching Frank Turner, I've no doubt. But I will, I will watch a bit of Frank. But I'm watching Adabisi Shank, who are a three-piece um, instrumental band from Ireland, and they're absolutely crazy. I am particularly looking forward to the retrospective soundtrack players because um, I think both their albums, but particularly Catcher in the Rye is amazing and just really, really clever in what they've done. Um, and I love the Dawn Chorus as well. So really looking forward to them starting on the main stage on Friday, I think. Um, I'm really looking forward to Fitz, um, who is this is a guy on a guitar and he's up at the greenhouse. And he's just like, amazingly talented and he played last year and went down a storm. Uh, in the Leaf Lounge, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him again. Um, King Charles, looking forward to, been a fan of his for quite a few years now, so really looking forward to um, seeing him. Frank, of course, this is going to be great. I mean, the thing, the thing for me, which I really love about 2000 Trees, is that people can discover their like favourite new band. And if you look back at years gone by, like 2008, um, we had, I think it was, no one had heard of Future of the Left, I think Twin Atlantic. Was it 2008 or 2010? Twin Atlantic played third on our main stage, and now they're big enough to headline. They're probably too big to headline. Um, and it's just really good to see these bands that you see them for the first time in 2000 Trees, and then they go on to be massive. I mean, we had Bombay Bicycle Club back in the day. Frank Turner is obviously the, the best example of all. And I might, you know, my constant challenge for me is to find bands that are going to be the next, the next big thing. And then the constant challenge for the punters is for them to go out and you know see those bands. Don't again, don't sit in your tent getting drunk. Go and see the bands. <laughs>